Hello, I am at an undisclosed location right now, and because I'm being very secretive, I've decided to test ChatGPT's code-breaking ability. It's also partially because it's like 6 in the morning and I can't go back to sleep right now, so I need to stay up. So I thought this would be a fun idea to test. Okay, first up, very simple message. Just convert every letter of the alphabet to its number corresponding to its position in the order, right? So the message, hi, I am Kyle should be written out like this. Now, if I just feed ChatGPT this information, could it decrypt this message? Let's find out. We have ChatGPT loaded on my phone here, and I am just going to type in each number of my message individually here. So we have 9, 1, 13 for the M, and then K is 11, Y is 25, L is 12, and then E is five. Okay, so this is my secret message. I'm not even gonna tell it what to do. I'm just going to give it as is. And it says here, it looks like you've listed a series of numbers. Could you let me know what you're aiming to do with these numbers? Are you looking for a pattern, a calculation, or perhaps a code based on them? Let me know so I can assist you further. So I'm not going to specify it any more than what I've specified. And I'm just going to upgrade the model to O1 Mini to see if Mini can decipher this message. So we're going to Mini now. And it says here, thinking. Thought for a couple of seconds, mapping the letters. Oh, it has found out my message. It says here, hi, I'm Kyle. Hello, Kyle. It's great to meet you today. Oh, wow. Okay, so repeating it twice, it was able to decode my message. Now, I'm just kind of curious. If I didn't start with 4.0 and then prompted it again, could it have figured that out? So let's get a new... O1 mini prompt window open and I'm just going to paste the message here and let's see if it knows from the first message to decode this. So here we go again. Thinking. Talk for a couple of seconds and again. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so I didn't even start it with 4.0 but it knew to decode it from the start. Okay, I mean it's a fairly basic message to unscramble but... Pretty cool, nonetheless. Now, I have used a Caesar cipher by just shifting every letter in the alphabet one over. So A goes to B, B goes to C, and so on. And I am rewriting the same message. Hi, I am Kyle, but I've written it with its shifted letters. And now the numbers corresponding to the original key stay the same. So as you can see here, this sequence of numbers is just one off from those sequence of numbers. And so we're gonna see if ChatGPT can break this next code. Here we go, gonna type in the new message now into ChatGPT. We have 9, 10, 10, 2, 14, 12, let's see, 26, 13, and six. All right, let's see, can it decode this? It's thinking, deciphering the sequence. Okay, so it's trying to crack the code here. Let's see here. It's not able to detect, or oh, maybe it is. Oh no, it's going to the periodic table. Possible code or cipher. Okay, so it still does not know what to do. Okay, so it could not break this on the first try. It couldn't figure it out, so I'm gonna give it a small hint. I'm just gonna say hint plus one. Okay, so maybe that will be enough to to tip it off. I don't know. The plus one again is just referring to the fact that I'm shifting every letter by one to in the alphabet. So uh, let's see here. Plus one. Is that enough? Is that enough? Deciphering the message. Oh, it knows it's a Caesar shift. Okay. Uh-oh. With the plus one hit, it gets it. Hi, I am Kyle. Wow. So, okay, with a hint, it got it. But nevertheless, I don't think that hint was maybe that that revealing. Maybe it was. I'm not a professional code breaker here. But good job, Owen Mini. All right. This is the final cipher of the day. Same message. I am Kyle. But now the position of each letter in the message is going to be the value of the shift in the Caesar cipher. So, for example, H right, is the first letter in this sequence. So I'm going to shift it by a value of 1. So... H will go to I, then I is the second 
letter in this message, so it should have a shift of 2. So it'll be 9 plus 2, because i is the ninth letter, plus 2 would be 11, so i goes to k, and so on and so forth. For y, we had to use a modulo operation because there's only 26 letters in the alphabet, so y gets mapped to f because it was the seventh letter in the message, and it comes out to this, I K L R Q F T N. So the number sequence, again, we're going to feed it, is 9, 11, 12, 5, 18, 17, 26, 20, 14. Now, again, uh, that just seems like a random string of numbers, if you ask me, but the encoding is not that complicated. If you knew what the key was, which obviously I do, but and we do, but ChatGPT doesn't. So we are going to see. With minimal hints, can it decipher this hidden message? It's time, O1 oh Mini. Let's see if you can crack the most complicated cipher ever created. This is just beyond any cipher anyone has ever seen. Zodiac Killer ain't got nothing on this cipher, okay? So let's see here. 6, 20, and 14. Okay, let me double check to make sure I got that all right. 9, 11, 12, 5, 18, 17, 6, 20, 14. Okay, so we are just going to send it, and we'll see if O1 Mini can figure this out. Mapping numbers to the alphabet. It's decoded the original scrambled message here, but it uh, wants to consider the shifts. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did it, did it get it? Let's see here. Oh, provide more context. So let's see here. Now, it did not seem to make it. Okay. And now I should give it a hint. Okay, so let's see if I just say hint. Consider position or consider sequence. Consider sequence position. Let's see. Is this enough of a hint for it to figure out that it just needs to shift the letter based on its position in the sequence? Let's see. Okay. So just need to consider the positions of the numbers or their relationship to the sequence. Okay. Mapping the numbers. Fibonacci sequence, not quite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That seems like a good idea. <gasps> oh my gosh. It looks like it has decoded. Hi, I'm Kyle. Okay, so with the hint, it was able to do it. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am I'm impressed. I'm impressed that it was able to unveil it. I know it took it took my hint to help it out, but nevertheless, it it got it. Okay. One last test that I want to do is I want to see if preview could just work this out. I just want to see if preview with enough time could figure this out without any hints. So I'm going to create a new context window, make sure the memory is off, and I am just going to drop in the same message again. And let's see if O1 Preview with its larger model brain can work this out. And we'll be off translating the numbers. Okay, so it's thinking about the periodic table again. Likes to bring up 9, 11, 12. Okay. Oh, mulling over the Caesar cipher cipher and letter replacement methods to decode the sequence. Okay, so it has that, has the, you know, scrambled message. Uh-oh, letter positions. Uh-oh, it's considering letter positions. Oh, it was, it was, it was on the right track there, but now it seems like it wasn't, uh, it's not on the right path anymore. Prime factors. Oh, it's, it's trying too hard here. I think it's trying too hard. It's a, it's actually a very simple shift here. Oh, one preview. And now you're thinking about atomic numbers. No, don't rearrange. No need. No need to rearrange. It's very simple. Here's the mapping. Oh. Answer frequent. Nope. That is not correct. Well, it gave it its best shot. So thanks for watching until the end if you made it this far. I hope you found this video interesting and somewhat entertaining. I've been thinking a lot about how LLMs could be used for nefarious reasons, especially because nowadays we have to be concerned with things like deepfakes and fake audio recordings of our voices and all of the problems that come with having very powerful AI models. Now, obviously, the codes in this video are not very tough to crack with enough thought, but I've been thinking also a lot about the future of computing, specifically quantum computing, which is a subject that has really fascinated me over the years, and how 
with quantum computers and the emergence of that with with AI models like ChatGPT and, and more powerful versions of it, what could that spell out in the future in terms of our safety and keeping our data secure? And what challenges will need to be overcome to ensure that these these technologies don't just open up the locks to all the secure documents and files and and you know, bank accounts of, of the world and uh, I know it's a scary thought. It's Halloween, so happy Halloween if you're watching this. I'm sorry to scare you, but I thought it was a, a good day to throw in some scares. And uh, I just hope that this makes people think about what is possible or, and uh, also think of scenarios that we haven't even considered yet. I think when you're dealing with a threat or you're worried about threats, the scariest ones are the ones that you haven't even possibly considered that you know the bad actors have already thought of. So I hope that this video... Um, can at least spark some discussion as to how uh, we mitigate the risks that come with these powerful technologies and that we stay vigilant with our, our data and protect it as best as we can. And uh, with that, I think that will conclude my video. So thanks again for watching. Happy Halloween. Eat some great candy. And I will see you in the next video.